hi guys today let's do more exercises here is exercise um, number 40 now I'm going to do number uh, exercise number 41 and uh, this exercise is going to find average and also we can also do uh, check the number of value less than the average so we find the average of maybe one two three we find the average and then when we get the av average we look at that average number and see if, uh, how many numbers or the number of values less than that average so the program should tell us that so I'm going to use array because I'm sticking on array we are still working on array exercise I mean we are practice specifically on arrays so let's get started so we are going to create a class and this class as usual is ex41 and this time I'm going to pick this main method and then when I have this you can just clear up this uh, comment and when I have this main method I'm going to um, let me type the variable here and this is constant variable anytime you want to create a constant variable the variable name should be in capital letters so for instance here I'm going to type the number of inputs should be equal to 11 so what does this mean constant means once you put the, the, this constant once you type in capital letter this uh, Java compiler knows this constant and whenever you use this variable anywhere cannot be changed no one can change within our program unless you change it here so um, let's create a scanner double numbers I'm creating I mean creating the array which is equal to new and double this is how we create the array if you remember and uh, actually I can just pass the uh, pass the number here 11 or let's try to see if we can pass the number this is constant here see because this constant on array so but we know it's 11 so anytime you change here it's going to also determine here it's going to change this so what I'm going to do here I need to create a variable let's say double sum and let's initialize this var variable to 0 and zero because it's double and you can just put D to show that it's this is double and also we use the for loop and this for loop I'm going to pass int i is equal to zero we, we assign i to zero then i less than um, less than the number from numbers from array dot length okay and then i plus plus mm, all right and what am i trying to do here is that i just want to loop 10 numbers but normally arrays normally start from zero see so starts from zero so if you put 11 11 means if you want to count 1 to 10 you have to go 1 to uh, 1 to 11 because start from 0 okay so here this is exactly what I'm doing here I'm just saying that I int is equal to 0 I is less than number so it's going to check from the length of this array which is array numbers here and it's going to loop and check start from let's say 11 
is 11 less than i no so 10 le less than i no so it gets to one one less than i no when you get to zero now is um one less than zero no when you get to zero then the the loop will end so so we get the we get our 10 uh, numbers and what i want to do with these numbers i'm going to within this um for loop i'm going to create um i'm going to ask a user to enter a number okay so c south enter a number and this can be print enter a number and um, these numbers now we have to to assign them to arrays from 1 to 10 which is start from 0 to 11 so the way you do that you type number array use the array and you pass i here and then you do the same thing that we have been doing use the scanner object this should be a numbers and then you use scanner object which is input dot next double because we are dealing with double okay so it's going to loop all the time it will be using this asking you to until it gets to 11 or 10 you see this is how you do it if you want to loop through because array i told you from very beginning array the difference between array and variable for example this is a variable this is array this variable can only hold this but this array here can hold uh, can hold more than one so which is 11 so the way we are looping here whichever number we start from 11 it will come here then you have to type as a user type the value the number then you ask you when the loop is over then it will proceed with the program otherwise it will not you have to go through this loop from 1 to 11 asking you question like enter the number enter the number until 11 you see so once we have done so we uh, would like to create also a double which is average because this is what I'm doing here average and uh, you know the formula of finding average is uh, sum the sum which we have already divided by 10 because I'm going to it's 10 numbers as I said you start from 0 um, it's 11 here but because of array start from 0 to 10 that's why we have to to go from 0 to 10 to 11 so that we get 10 numbers which is this one so the sum of these 10 numbers you divide with the 10 okay because there are 10 that's how we find average this is how we find average the way you find average you count the the number of those numbers that you have um, they made this sum they divide by the, their total you see so um now i want to check the when we ha once i have the average i want to check the number which are less those numbers which are less than than average so the way i do that i'm going to, count, uh, to type the variable int then count count less and less put it to zero assign to zero and then i go for loop again for loop is very, very important int i we assign to zero and then i is less than number numbers dot length and then i plus plus i uh, plus plus okay and uh, within this um, this for loop so within this um, for loop I'm going to check if um, if numbers which is an array i um, is less than average it's less than average then I'll count those numbers then I'll say count count less count less uh, 
plus plus okay and then let's try to print I'll print this out and let's use the string builder which is new um, string builder class and I'll just type the the average is and let's append let me append the average then average and then convert everything to string and we do the same stuff as we are looking for as we are looking for number which are less than um, the values less than the average and let me use the string builder object string builder and then I'll just type the string again which is the the number of values less than the average is dot append count count less than the to string and now I save this program and then we run the program here and now I enter the number I'll start with let's say 10 20 30 and so on the end is the last number so let's see the average is okay there's something is wrong here and um, I think you I we have to add these numbers to sum so sum plus equal to numbers every each and every array we have to add it to sum so when we pass I here so this is where the problem was so we have to run again and put again 10 20 30 yes so the average is 66 all these numbers you can check you can use calculator to calculate this and the number of value less than the average is okay we check from here here is 60 so 660 mm, so 66 is between this and this so we count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's correct so thank you guys and remember subscribe and like and bye bye